Hello everyone, welcome to another cash stuffing. Um, hope everyone had a good weekend. This weekend we went um, to these two tropical bars. One was called Paradise and one was called Tropical. It was super fun, but that means I have no money left over in any of my envelopes. I literally think they're all empty. They are. Um, so let's get started with my variable cash envelopes. I'm not gonna be stuffing miscellaneous my cat envelope or my gas envelope this week. Um, these are the ones that I stuff. These two I stuffed um, in the beginning of the month and this one I already stuffed last month and I filled up on my gas um, last week. Um, so these aren't gonna get anything. Um, and then this weekend I'm going to Seattle to a Mariners game. Um, so I'm gonna stuff this um, for this week and then this weekend um, while I'm in Seattle um, at the Mariners game. So. My entertainment envelope is gonna get 282, and I highly doubt I'm gonna spend that much up there, but just in case, our place to stay is already paid for, but that's for gas and then anything we get while we're at the park um, or if we go do anything um, after the game. So that's going to get, let's see, nine twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gonna get six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, let me do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's gonna get five fives. One, two, three, four, five. These bills are really gross. <laughs> and then it's gonna get 17 ones. I like to have a lot of ones. Um, so I have exact change, which is why there are so many, or why I'm having so many, so I need 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so that's gonna go in my entertainment envelope, so it should be 282, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 140, 150, 60, 180, um, 190, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. That's a lot of ones to count. So 282 um, for this week and this weekend while we're in Seattle. And then groceries for this weekend is going to get 62. So that should be the rest of this cash. So that's 20, 40, 50, no. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. All right, so I wanna put these to the side. All right, so now we're going to get on to my bills. And a lot of my bills came out last week, so a lot of these are empty because I pulled them out because um, they were due. And so I reset some of these envelopes. So first off, actually, let me set out the cash first. And this is all prop money. I do my bills and my sinking funds um, with prop money because I don't wanna have all this cash in the house um, just in case something were to happen and I'd rather gain, even though it's just a little bit of interest, but as much as I can sitting in the bank. Okay. Okay. So Verizon's going to get 13. So that is a 10 and three ones, and I think I have a little bit in here. So Verizon now has 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. Life insurance this week is gonna get two dollars. Now this should have, let's see. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Um, Orkin, which is my pest control, that is getting $9. And that is a five and four ones, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now Orkin has 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And they're actually coming tomorrow, which is nice. All right, CenturyLink, that is my internet, and that is getting 17. And that one is empty because it was due last week. So 10, 15, 16, and 17. And then, let's see, water sewer, that was also due last week, so that is empty. And that's getting 33. Mortgage, again, was also due last week, so it is empty, and that's getting 309 this week. Peloton's getting four bucks. I'm actually super sore. I did like a 45 minute bite boot camp and then like a 45 minute strength um, this past weekend. And I'm extremely sore. Um, so $4 and it has $4. Okay, and then my favorite student loan gets 152. And that also came out. I had a lot of bills come out last week. Um, I get paid on the 27th and the 13th of every month. So I budget from the 27th to the 27th. And I always know what I'm gonna get paid on the 27th. It's the same every time. The 13th, I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna get paid, but I never know exactly. Um, Cause that's my bonus check. Um, I get a bonus every month. And I never know what it's truly gonna be, but I have an idea. And so I have a lot of my bills come out around when I get paid for my bonus check because it's usually more than what I get paid for on the 27th. Um, so Spotify gets $2, one and two. So this, should, this is the last bill that I have coming out this month. Um, and it has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I believe that comes out on the 22nd of the month, so I'll be pulling this out soon. And then I'm not doing anything this month. I'm gonna start this challenge next month, and this is actually gonna um, help fund my emergency fund, so I'm excited to start that. And then my iPhone isn't gonna get anything, and then my 100 envelope challenge is not gonna get anything either. I'll start these back up again next month. Okay, and then next is on to my long and short-term sinking funds. Um, so first up is anniversary. It's gonna get a, it's gonna get one dollar. No, it's only a dollar, but a little goes a long way. And eventually, by the time um, our anniversary is um, in October, so I should have enough saved up by October. So anniversary now has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. Just gotta do little by little sometimes, and it eventually will add up. Uh, my annual fee, which is for my two credit cards, my Alaska and Southwest card, um, that's getting $3. And this is the first year I like started doing like a sinking fund for this before. I would just kind of let it come out of my um, buffer in my checking account, but I was like, mm, I might as well just save a sinking fund for it. I know what the amounts are and what they're and when they're due, so I thought it would just be smart just to create a sinking fund for it. 
Um, so now my annual fee has 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And I like to travel a lot, so I like having those two um, cards for points and stuff. Um, car insurance this month is getting 19, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and this is due next month, so this envelope will be emptied in the next month or so. Um, so now car insurance has 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 430, 440, 445, 450, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 456. All right, and then car maintenance is gonna get $15 this week. And then my service for my car um, is in the middle of September, so um, I'm trying to bulk this up as much as I am able to for that appointment. It's usually like two hundred and something dollars. I still take it to the dealership because it's under warranty, so um, which is why it's a little more expensive. But I'm gonna take it there until the car is not under warranty anymore. So car maintenance now has one hundred, two hundred, two ten, two twenty, two twenty five, two thirty. Uh, Christmas is going to get 25. Okay. And Christmas has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 795. 800. I'm getting closer to my $1,200 goal that I want to have by November because um, I like to start shopping just a little bit earlier. Um, emergency fund is not getting anything this uh, week. Again, I'm going to start the Hawaii Mom Budgets, the Hello Kitty Savings Challenge next, next month um, to start funding this more. Um, my emergency fund for my two cats who have actually been very pleasant this video and have not bothered me, which I am so surprised. Um, they're gonna get $15. So, this is 1,000. 100, 200, 210, 215, 220. So 1,220 dollars for my cat emergency. All right, month ahead is going to get two dollars, and I'll color this in when I'm able to fill up another tracker. I don't think right now I have enough to fill up or to color in another space, but it's going to get two bucks. One, two, and my goal is to fill this out twice, um, and then that'll be enough to be a month ahead on all my bills. Um, so eventually, I'll try to get this completed twice. But right now I have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 um, in my month ahead envelope. Um, beauty is not getting anything. Um, I fully stuffed it last week and I actually have um, an appointment on Thursday to get Botox. Um, so I'm excited to try that. So I have that um, on Thursday. So pretty sure this is going to go away completely um, when I have that appointment. I kind of had an idea of how much it was gonna be. So this should cover it. Um, I'll maybe have like 10 bucks left over, but pretty sure this should hopefully cover the whole appointment. I think there's like 380 or 90 bucks in there. Um, Costco is not getting anything. Usually what I like to do with Costco, I like to stuff it when I'm able to, but if not, if I have any grocery rollover at the end of the month, um, I'll throw it into my Costco envelope, which I don't have any, um, I didn't have any this week. And then next week will be like the last month of groceries. So if there's anything left over, I'll throw it in here. Gifts is not getting anything either. Household is gonna get $3, so one, two, three. 
And let's see how much. I know there's not a whole lot in here. Um, let's see, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I know next month I'm gonna start needing like paper towels, toilet paper, um, some other random household items. So I'll stuff it a little more next month in preparation for when I'm gonna have to buy um, stuff that I need. Shopping is gonna get 37, so 20, 30, five, six, seven, so let's see. So shopping has 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. And there's a couple things on Target that I saw that I wanted. There's some sweats. Um, I live in athletic wear, so I think I'm gonna get a, like a pair of sweats and then there was a sweatshirt, so more than likely this will be gone, um, depending on if I get that or not. And then my last envelope is travel and that's going to get $7. So now travel has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And I have a little tracker in here that I'll color um, once I'm able to. And that's it, thanks for watching. And then at the end of this, um, I'll do like a screen record of me transferring money into my Ally Sinking Fund. So if you wanna stick around and watch that, that would be great. Thanks, until next time, bye.